Siyanta Dishmaya, let's turn to the end of Masechus Makos. Tav Chavdal and Amad Beis, we have the famous mice of Rabbi Akiva, are walking together with his illustrious colleague, Shupa Machas, state in the Gemara. At the end of Makos, they were going to Yushalayim, when they got to Aratzol from Kirim Bagdayim, they tore Korea. Kevin and Shagil are bias, they saw Yeshuel, who departed from the Kodshei HaKadoshim. As expected, Zok the Gemara Vaiter, Shlu Hein Bochum, they all commenced to cry. Mashek and Rabbi Kiva Matzachik, he started to laugh. Amr Lo, Neimata Matzachik, why in the world are you laughing? Amr Lam, he responds in kind. Neimata Mochim, tell me, my dear colleagues, why are you crying? Amr Lo, Rabbi Kiva, Malkam Shakosubo Bazar Korev, you must. The Heilige Kodesh HaKadoshim, no one's allowed to go in except for the Kohen Odol. Meshas, the Avodim Yom Kibber Bachshav Shual Lamochavo. And now we have the lowly foxes <coughs> scurrying through the holy of holies with Onifke. And we're not going to cry. Amulan Lakachni Mitzachik. It's precisely for that reason that I am laughing. And the Pasik says in Yeshaya of Aidul Aidim Namonim Uriah Koin Zacharya. Afraid to be Kivim Chima Inyan Urya Aitza Zacharya. Urya was Bemikta Shwish and Zacharya Kaidua. I was a Navi Bemikta Shani Chag is Zachari Malachi of the Nevi'im Achroinim. At the end of the Treyas, or the end of the Chalak on Nevi'im, they were two Tkufanis Nefrodos. Why does the Navi Yeshaya mention them in the same breath? Zachar Bekiva Latola Kosin of Master Shazachai Ben Master Shul Urya. It says, Legabi Urya Lachem Meglachem and Sion Soda Techaresh. So we talk about how the Holy of Holies is going to be plowed all of Yishalai and plowed like a field. And by Zechariah it says in Zechariah Paraches, O Yeshu Zekenim, who Zekenis were Chobos Yishalai and Sa'at Shalom, and Eskai Menmoser Shalurya, Ha'isim Yisari Shalom, Eskai Menmoser Shalurya, until I saw the fulfillment, the actualization of that tragic prophecy of Urya. I was suspect, I was worried maybe the Nebuah of Zechariah will not materialize, but Asher Shen Eskayim and Avosher Shalori Be'adua Shen Avosher Shen Eskayim as Kayemis and thus the Gemara concludes Belashen is the Amrlo Akiva Nechamtanu Akiva Nechamtanu Zok the Orchaner and why the double mention of Nechama because we had two mice and the Gemara Makis concludes with one mice where Akiva Neschaverim and where he gave them a Nechama explaining uh, you don't have to worry about to the Goyim celebrating and here we have this mice you don't have to worry about the foxes scurrying out of the Kodesh HaKadoshim and thus the double lush and the kvelis lush and indicating that kiva nechantana for mice number one, kiva nechantana for mice number two. Fini is daiti, has another idea in the double nechamo, and we have a Shabbos nechamo. And what does the Novi Yeshaya say? We call it Shabbos Nachmu because the Novi Yeshaya in the Avtorah for Shabbos Nachmu begins Nachmu Nachmu Ami Yomer Elokechem the Kfeila Saloshin and Nachmu Nachmu is something we addressed in the past why the double Nachamu we gave an explanation why the double Nachamu Yomer Elokechem even when we have Midas Adin and we'll have a double Nachamu we gave an explanation of the past I'd like to give another explanation we see after the Shemayim we have a Yeduit HaKetzlach uh, the note of Yudah writes in the Tzlach Meseches Pesachim Dalf Nun. Uh, the Gemara says in the future when Mashiach comes, we're not going to recite uh, the Dayan Brocha Dayan Emes any longer. Uh, rather, we will always be reciting a Tov Ask the Tzlach. I says, what's the Chiddush of the Gemara? If we're dealing with Yemosa Mashiach, everything's going to be Gavaldic. If everything's going to be Geshmak and Gavaldic, what's the Rabusa Nakan? What's the Chiddush and the Gemara? Avada, no one's going to be suffering any longer. There's no Mokum to make a Dayan MS. So what's the Chiddush and the Gemara? Zokti Nitzit, Zokti, Nodmi, who did the Tzlach writes? The Chiddush and the Gemara is that when Mashiach comes, we're going to look back Lamafreya retroactively. And we're going to see how all the bad that we thought was bad, we're going to see how the MS it was all good. Everything that we perceived initially, to be raw, to be tragic, when Mashiach comes and enlightens us and it illuminates our eyesight. How uh, we're going to all see 2020, we're going to go back retroactively and see how even those things that Halachataka mandated that in the here and now, and the Hova, we have to recite to die in MS. In the future, we're going to go back and say Yatilva Meitiv, not only because everything's going to be good and there's going to be plenty that's going to warrant the continuous, incessant recitation of Tova Meitiv, uh, but it's also going to trigger that we're going to go back retroactively and recite to Tova Meitiv, even in those things that we saw were a die in MS. The Phineas Daiti.
Perhaps that's had the double nechama. In addition to a shear we discussed in the past about Nachmu Nachmu Gematria two hundred and eight Gematria Yitzchak. That's a lokecha midas adin. Yitzchak is the one to save Klai Solo Salama Shabbos by test. That's something we discussed many a time in the past. But perhaps the fiyin has daiti. There's another explanation here, and that is that the double nechama is that when Mashiach comes, there's going to be a nechama because no more tsar, no more suffering, no more tragedy, and no more horrors, no more pogroms, crusades, and holocaust. But there's going to be a double nechama. Not only will there be uh, that expect in the with the arrival of Mashiach, but there be no Chama when we look back because B.S. Gold Tzedek will engender that will go back like the Tzlach and look retroactively. And even the things that we talk a said a in MS, when tragedy struck, we're going to look back now and we're going to be Nesnachim retroactively uh, by saying of all those things were always Latov. And the Melam, that's the Dome Nechama. Stephanius Daiti, that's the Chiddush over here. Who's the end of Mesechus Makis? Now, boy, so we know that Rabbi Akiva lived a life that was filled with tragedy, replete with tragedy. Here we are in Yemei Svir Selma. 24,000 Tamidim Yevama Samach Bey Samach Bey uh, 12,000 Chavusa Shafs, Ayin the Ben Yoda, many other Pirushim, why it expressed it as 12,000 Chavusa Shafs, and not simply as 24,000. To me, them something that many of the Mepharshim deal with. But Lemaisa, 24,000. Here's the Av of Torah Shopei. Here's someone who lived through the Chorban. Here is someone who uh, was an Am for 40 years. Psochem and Tesem and Beis, when he saw it, he said, And then one day he finally gets married. He's living in utter destitution. His shver is one of the three wealthiest yid in the land. He doesn't get a penny uh, from him. He marries a wife named Rachel. He goes out, he's Moser Nefesh, Pshutu Kemashmo, and he builds up Kayasol. He builds up Tyra in the Gats of El, and he loses 24,000 Tamid. And one Kufa. Abaisa, make the cheshman. Hakula mesu misas askra brachas chesem and aleph, the worst of all the gematria totsos misas that are out of the world. A type of strangulation, a type of choking. He loses 24,000 minus five, the chamisha shebedarim, one of seven. He loses everything he spent his whole life being most nefesh for. He lived through the Chorban, he married Rachel, and she ends up dying in his lifetime. He has to get married a second time around. And he's living in utter destitution his entire life. And finally, what's his claim to fame? He raises the the banner of Tyra, Aladore Doris, and he loses them all to the worst of all deaths when he's the one who said the Ahavdu Larecha Kamacha Zeklal God of Tyra. And he's the one who now has to witness firsthand the Tamidi Rebekibu Shalom No Gukavad Zelazet. He's the one in the third parak of Avas Chavav Amnu Shenivra B'Tselam Chaviv in Yisrael. Shenikra Bonim Lamokom, and it's his Tamidim about it. That's why it's Ma'ala and Ma'ira Gaval to get Kitrug against them. Your own Rebbe in the Sefra, the Torah's going to make Kedoshim Yateshir Chesu Hatu Echa and you didn't learn the lesson in your loan of Gukam and Zelazah. Amada was a tremendous kitchen. Tzadikim, Hashem is Medatek. With the Tzadikim, Kukhut, Asairi, Vamsku, Chavalov, in the end of the day, he buries 24,000. It's about 700 Levayas a day. They died until Lug Moment. Can you imagine if he was a 700 Levayas of not stop? Of his Talmidim, of Hokum and the Talmidim that uh, represented, that symbolized all of the Torah in that day and age. And he buries them all. How can he go on? So the Velt says, and it's in so many Bale, uh, Musas for him, and so many Dershi Rishimus. Uh, the idea of the king is always the positive one. That's why he's the one who's always looking at the future. He's the one who teaches the world. He's the one who's always setting his sights in the future. He's the one who's looking to the future. And I see the Nevoa of. Zachariah of Od Yeshu Zakenu Zakenu Zachavos Yisholayim Mechulei. He's the one always positive. Akim Nechantano, Akim Nechantano. They see the sad. He sees the happy. He sees the good, the positive, the ever optimistic. Rabbi Akiva, Rosh Hashanah Chafayim and Aleph, who makes Sholem and the Machlekes and Gemliyah. Rabbi Yeshua Nachma. We encounter yet again Akim Nechantano, Akim Nechantano. Always focused, always turning the spotlight continuously on the Tzana Tov and the positive. But perhaps that's the double lotion. Akim Nechantano, Akim Nechantano. There's only someone who can live a life and share with clients so command of Rahman the Tavavit. Everything the Abishter does is solely for the best. He is the one to tell you you're going to get to a point in time that you're going to look back retroactively and you're going to see how everything that you thought was bad, everything Lamaisa was good. That was all good all along. So Lechaira, the same way that Itziv is telling us, uh, the same way, I'm sorry, that Slach, the Nodabiud is telling us, 
uh, that the ultimate nechama of the tova meitiv is that in the future we're going to make it tova meitiv because everything's good, and it will trigger that we're going to go back to my frame make it tova meitiv. The finiyas taiti. Thus, we have the double nechama in the future. Nachmo nachmo ami yom lokeche. One nechama will be for the actual nechama with bias gold said it. The second nechama is that he'll open up our eyesight and we'll look back over the course of our whole lives and the course of all Jewish history and we'll be in a snachim retroactively even those holocaust pogroms and the Shoah never made any sense all those questions will fall instantly by the wayside and the Mela will recite the Tilba Meitam on them so here's Rabbi Akiva and they see Tzara after Tzara Akiva Nechamtana okay you gave us a Nechama no Akiva Nechamtana why because if Akiva you're able to take the most tragic experience we've ever had sing the Holy of Holies sing the Mokam Amikdash we lift the Chorban Abayis and not Stam Chorban I want the lowly foxes scurrying through the Holy of Holies you gave us a Nechama but more than that if you're able to see the good even right here in the bed it must be that what we're able to go back you're teaching us that we can go back retroactively and and see how it's all good. Now, we mentioned in the past the famous Baal Shem Tov. We have in Tainus Chabes the story in Nochemish Gamzu. Why is he called Gamzu? Because everything that happened, Gamzu Latova, tragedy after tragedy strikes, and he is smitten with the Yasurin Noram Admoid. And he says, Gamzul Latayva. And we address the question. His name should have been Nachmash Gamzul Latayva. Taiva name is Nachmash Gamzu. This too. This too what? It's Gamzul Latova. Tarot says he was an Azaima Drega. That even without seeing the tov, he knew the tov was there. Gamzu! I don't have to say Gamzu the Taiva. He's Nachamish Gamzu. He so lived with the Taiva in front of him right away that he could say, Gamzu, this is good, even if I don't see the Taiva. Kaya doing the famous Kotzka Rebbe. And they told him, ah, this Hasidish Rebbe gets to see the Yusfiz in the Sukkah. Says, I don't need to see them to know that they're there. No. I know that they're there. I don't need to see them to experience them. Nachamish Gamzu, I know that this Taiva here. So Rebbe Kiva Vado. Chagigi your base of an alpha was Meshamish is Rabbi Nachum is Gamzu. Avada he got to that higher Madrega. Zok the Eli Gamalsha. The higher Madrega is Gamzu Latomi. You could experience the time right even right now. Rabbi Akiva though broke his staff. Samach he says you know what the door is not ready for that. But you know what he could teach the door. Komada of Rachmanu Latov. You don't see the tov right here and right now. You might not experience it. You might not sense the tov. I but if you cast your eyesight towards the future, Komada of Rachmanu, invoking the choice, a description of Hashem as the Kel Rachman. Hashem is the Kel Rachman. And Komada of Rachmanu, Litov. It'll all be Litov. Of it, he's doing it for the good. Even if you don't see the good right here and right now. Just trust him, and so ultimately for the good. So the Chayra, though, our Rebbe Akiva was clearly, he was Meshamish, his Rebbe, Nachum, his Gabzu, 22 years. And maybe the door could absorb, could be collate, Komada, Rachman, Latov, but about it, he was living on the Dargah, Liba, the Baal Shem Tov, of his Rebbe, Nachum, his Gabzu, he was able to see the Tov right here and right now. A little smach to that. Zot Reb Zelagevsky, Rosh Hashiva, now, Yeshiva Shar Torah, beautiful, Maasif Torani of Yeshurin, I published back in Tavshanai and Zion, Chope Shvat, Al Chod the Archikala of Yeshiva, Ashar Torah of Zelig Epstein, beautiful Chedushiman and Yoni Agarato, at the back of the Sefer. He has a beautiful diak in the Gemara. Uh, what do we just read to start the Shir tonight? Arabi Kiva said, Achalun is Skyma the Navua of Uri, I was afraid, Shalot is Skyim the Navua of Zacharia. Asha Shin is Skyman of also Shal Uri. Piadua, now I know I can rest assured, Shinavu also Shal Zacharia, Atis Skyim, that it will be fulfilled. That's not the choice wording of the Gomorrah. Beautiful diak by the Heiliger of Zelig Epstein's that's all. Uh, the Gomorrah's terminology should have been me at Dua. Uh, that I know the Nevo of Zechariah one day is going to be fulfilled. Nothing happened yet. What was the Nevo of Zechariah Perches? Oh, Yeshu Zekein, Zekein, Zechariah, 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 On one day we're going to have the elders in the streets of Yeshaliah, and they're going to be sitting there in peace, in sheer equanimity and tranquility. That didn't happen yet. So to Zalag Epstein, but what's a lotion? Not be a dua that the Nebu of Zechariah to Skyim will one day lotion also in the future tense be fulfilled. The lotion of Chazal is be a dua chin of also Shishchayim miskayemes. It's miskayemes right here and right now. We're going to keep it waiting 2,000 years. It's 2,000 years later. We haven't seen it reach fruition. We haven't seen this Gavaldic in the Vua actualize it's 2,000 years what do you mean Miskayemes Terence says Arabi Akiva sees it in the here and now that is Arabi Akiva if you're living 
Yenoch Meshkam Zutik Alayf, and he was Meshamesh. His Rebbe, but he doesn't have to wait until the top. I see it, Gamzu, I can point right here and right now. It didn't happen yet to Rabbi Akiva. I'm sorry to break it to you, it's not Gabba for 2,000 years. It didn't make an iota of a difference. From the perspective of Rabbi Akiva, Gamzu Latov, it's Miska Yemes. It's right here and right now. Dafka Rabbi Akiva then. Akiva Nechantanik and If you could see how the Tov are ready right now in the tragedy and how Gishmak you gave us in the Chama right now. And if that's a year of life, we can look back on all the tragedies and losing the base of Mikdash and you Menachem us because now we can look back and see that if you're able to see in the almost tragedy <laughs> of the lowly foxes scurrying through the Holy of Holies and you could say right here and right now that's Tov. And you can look at the Baka Mikdash and what do you see? You see Rebuilt, you see, Komas Avisham Zochavaroa, Zochavaroa, not Zochavir of us, or Zochavaroa of us of Hosa. I write here right now, I see it, Miss Kayevas, it is Miss Kaye. We can look back retroactively and say, Someone who sets our sights on the future always positive. And we can look back and say everything bad that happened in our lives. If we lead Rabbi Akiva Nikolai, we can see how it's all good. That's Rabbi Akiva could pick up after losing 24,000. And Al Yaday 5, he could say, I'm going to stay ever positive. I'm going to rebuild. And Itaka does. And he rebuilds. And all the Torah we have, as the Gemara says in the Ten Park of Sanhedrin, that's Damasis, Rameis, Tam, Bryce, and Chiva, Chule, Ad, Vakula, Liba, Rabbi Akiva. He gave us all of Torah. So now the Fini has died to you understand this mechus. What's the Gemara right before how these two mice? And we have 613 mitzvahs, Rab Simai, Chav Gimel, Beis, and Makis, and we have 613 mitzvahs. And they all come down to what? Both double the mean and al right? And the Gemara goes through until we get the Micha, and then finally Amos, the Gemara, and the Maskan, and the Milsa, all 613 mitzvahs, and Liba, the Marsha, and others being Mepharish, the Gemara, can come down to one basis, to one Yisod. Ba, the Novi Chavakim. Zok Chavakuk and Perak Beis Posik Dalid that Tzadik b'Menosha Yechim and Tzadik b'Menosha Yet Tzadik lives with them one Now we mentioned many times the famous Ben Yo Yada off an art in the Gemara. You want to be a Tzadik? You can't just have a Muna and your Seichel and your Rosh. You got to have a Muna in the Lave. The longest journey in the world is from the brain to the heart. You got to live a Bechush. You can't stay in the realm of the intellect and the Seichel alone. A Tzadik is Gemachu two hundred and four. Zok the Ben Yo Yada and Muna is Aleph Mem Vav Nun Hey Gemachu one hundred and two. You want to be a Tzadik. A tzadik doesn't live in with Emuna. A tzadik lives be Emuna with what? Be's Emuna. Shiche. You need two Emunas. You need a moon up here and a moon down here. A moon is 102. You have a moon in your brain. You have a moon in the heart, in the chush, and every fiber through your veins and your blood. Then it's 102. 102 is Gamacha 204. Then you're a tzadik. Tzadik. You want to be a tzadik? Gamacha 204. Be Emuna. Shiche. You need be's Emunas. A moon up here and a moon down here. And when you have the two Emunas, then you can become a tzadik. That's the Ben Yoyada. What do you see? It's not enough to believe. You got a mamish experience. It's got to be Bechush. You got to feel what? It's mamish Bechush. We said many a time, Azot Rav Henech Libutz and Chrusha Leiv, the Stiglum Ruchas Peretz, the Dash Ve'iyin, and Rav Chatz. There's so many on the Mafarshim. We have the famous Kasha Noach Ish Tzadik Tamim Hayyib Darosa. Later on, Parshin Noach Perek Zayin Pasuk Zayim Nei Me Amabo Zok Tarashi Afanor Af Noach Miktani Amuna Yamam and Vein Amam and Shiavo Amabo Atche Dukku Amayiv Nechas Ateva. You see that there was a Tanya Noach. Why he believed it in Amuna Zok to these Bali Amosir, but he didn't believe it because if God says it's going to rain, then right now it's raining. It's Miskayemes. To live, it's right now. Oh, I gotta wait until the rain comes in and then it's up to my knees. Then I'm gonna scurry into the table. No, if God says the flood is coming, I'm gonna meet the sweets. I don't have it in my intellect. I live it because believe if God says there's gonna be a mabo, I view it. It's gotta be a mabo right now. That's Katniss Bamuna. I don't have to wait to see. He's living with tikva with positivity. Who's living, Rabbi Akiva? Rabbi Akiva says, I got Beza Munas. I don't just have a moon over there. I know now, Beza Munas. I'm living it. Nevoso shows Zakaria. Miss Kayemes. It's Rebekah. It's not going to be actualized for 2,000 years. No, that Amun is not just for Seichel. It's Vachosh. He lives it right here and right now. And that's Sadiq Ben Osi You know who demonstrates that more than anyone else? Our Rebekah would take a life. Oh, it's giving us hope for the future. So, both say how geschmack it is. And we have 630 mitzvahs. How do you get to 613? The Phineas Daiti has the Gemara conclude. It starts with the Muna, the foundation, the solid bedrock is a Muna. A Muna is 102. Rabbi said, We got a long journey. How are we going to go from a Muna 102 to 630 mitzvahs? The Phineas Daiti, we're not done speaking, right on the heels of Tzadik Manasseh Yichet. We get to our Rebbe Kiva, always gives us tikva, always gives us hope for the future. Looking to the future, tikva, you got it. Come 
Gematria 511. When you add the Tikva of Rabbi Akiva onto the Amun of Tzadik Manasseh Yechia, Amun is 102, Tikva is 511. You put the two together, then you got yourself the big 613. Tariq Mitzvah's kid, the Rabbi Simlai, Rabbi Simlai 613. How do you get there? Tzadik Bab Nasseh Yechia with the 102 of Amunah together with the Tikva of Rabbi Akiva, 102 and 511 is your 613. How do you get through all the Makis in life? You know, you get through all your Makis in life, 24 daf of Makis, 24 hours a day, there are Makis going on, everyone's got their Pekloch. And you know the Sigim of the Milsa, Nachmu, Nachmu, comes right after Tishwav, comes right after the Churban Abayas, who teaches us that Rebbe Kiva, Amuna and Tikva, 102, 511, 613, that's the closure of all 613 mitzvahs. Starts with Amuna, ends with the ultimate Nechama, to when it's coupled with Tikva, that's how we leave a life of a sect, and it's all about Makis. Have an awesome night, and a great week up